could our environment be like sabotaging us? We've been talking about building healthy habits, the whole process of it through motivation and grit. Could there be other factors that are playing into this? Hmm. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jamie. This channel is all about us ladies finding our inner spark and inner badass. <laughs> what you're going to see are some videos with some tips and tricks with Jamie. You'll also see some hip hop cardio routines and some strength that's trickled in. It's really just a place for me to document my fitness journey and to share with you all what works and what doesn't work. This channel is for real women coming together wanting to make some real stickable changes in their lives with no crazy diets, no crazy lifestyle changes, and no crazy workouts. I say if a workout isn't fun, then you shouldn't be doing it. If you're like, girl, this is the channel for me. <laughs> make sure you go click that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. I'm always looking for comments for future topics. So if there's something that you're like, I kind of want to know about that, leave me a comment below. And sharing is caring people. So if you have a friend that you think this would be a good video or a good series, tell them to go check it out. Share it to them. Now on to our program. This is our fifth episode in our series of building healthy habits. If you've not seen the other ones, girl, I'm going to link them below. You can click on each one and watch. So this is number five. You got four. You better catch up. So what does it take to work towards a goal? Is it all just motivation and grit to be able to get us from point A to point B? Maybe there is another piece of the puzzle that we need to look at. I don't know about you, but I like to think that I have control over everything. You know, insert control freak. <laughs> if I set my mind to a specific task, then it'll get done. But the truth is that all of our minds are easily distracted. And this is like outside forces. Like it or not, ladies, we are a product of our environments. So what can we do? First things first, we can increase how many steps it takes to get to that bad choice. So this happens to me probably more than I want to admit, but I'll be at work and I'll be working on a project and I'm heads down and I'm going to get this done and I'm going to get this done and I'm going to get this done and my phone chirps. And what do you do? You stop what you're doing, totally distracted, pick up the phone. Or you're in the middle of a conversation with somebody, same thing, that computer dings to tell you that you have an email. What happens? It's like you disconnect from the, from the conversation that you're having and immediately go and see what that dinging noise is. So what would happen if we silenced everything? What would happen if we locked our computer? We're having that face-to-face -face conversation and we don't have those distractions. Those environmental forces, we've turned them off. Do you find that you're a social media junkie? Are you like Facebook and Snapchat and Twitter? And I'm trying to act cool and remember all of them. Instagram. So here's a quick tip. What if you signed out of them? Now I'm not saying all the time. I'm just saying, so if you're in something that your head's down and you're really trying to concentrate and try to get something done, what if you signed out of your social medias so that it makes it 10 pounds harder to get back in? You have to remember what your password is and you have to sign in. So if you knew you were going to have to do those extra steps, would you go look on Facebook? Maybe not. Here's one more. What if you wanted to limit how many soft drinks that you drank? What if you had no soft drinks at home? Whoa now, Jamie, you're getting deep on these. So what is getting in the way of building that habit? What barrier can you put in front of your barrier? Okay, here's the next one. Stay with me. You want to design for the mindless and lazy actions. Think of it this way. If you want to exercise after work and the one thing that prevents you from doing that is you get off work and you're like, girl, I don't have any exercise clothes. What would happen if you pack some exercise clothes the night before and you put that bag right in front of the door that you're going to walk out? Like you can't open the door unless you pick that bag up. That bag is going to go with you in your car and you have one less barrier to get you to that gym or workout or wherever it might be to get your workout in. What if you said, I want to eat healthier food choices? So one option might be is maybe you stick a bowl of apples like smack dab in your eye view as soon as you walk in the kitchen. Go clean out that pantry. Stock it with foods that you want to eat on the regular and get rid of those foods that you're like, I don't need this. Make those items inconvenient to you by not having them around. So sometimes I hear from my ladies, well, I have that for the kids. This is the only thing I'm going to say. If you don't think it's good for you, it's 
not good for those kids. If you want to get more productive at the end of every day, try this tip. Set a specific amount of time, like maybe 15 minutes, nothing, 10, 15 minutes and carve out exactly what you're going to do the next day. So the next morning when you get up and things are really, really hectic, you don't even have to think about it because you already have your to-do list. Change your environment to change your life. Okay guys, two things as we wrap up this episode, design a space that helps you make good choices. Two, changes to you begins with changes to your environment. Okay guys, this is gonna wrap up our fifth episode in our series of Building Healthy Habits. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Watch for our sixth episode coming out next Thursday. Now remember, sharing is caring. So if you know somebody that you think that this would be a good video to provide them with some information about building some healthy habits, share. This video was really serious. Sorry guys, but on a fun note, if you are looking for a booty burn workout and you're like, I could probably do this whole commercial with you, you need no equipment. You can do it anywhere. Where can we do it? Say it with me. Home, gym, Target, Starbucks out. <laughs> and if you need somebody to do it with you, just call me. I'll come do it with you. But I will leave the link below. It'll have information so that you can go download your free booty burn. It's like you're 30 days. Hold on. 30 days away from getting a new booty. You can't beat that. Stick around, guys. We'll have our new video next Thursday. Bye.